Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In the previous Viper video, we talked about using the Fix option on the ICP to update the Inertial Navigation System, or INS. While the onboard GPS can certainly assist with updating the INS, INS drift can still happen. This is not only true for a fixed position as stored in the Mission Computer Mission Planning Table, but also for altitudes. To calibrate for altitude drift, we also have the Altitude Calibration, or ACAL, function on the ICP. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at ACAL in operation. Uh, first, we'll zoom into the ICP, and I'll press uh, button 9, ACAL. Now up on the DED, by default, we have the automatic altitude calibration using GPS. And as you might imagine, simply what's going to happen here is the GPS is going to do its best uh, to update the INS altitudes. But let's say we had a circumstance where we don't have GPS available in a mission. That's where we're going to use the manual calibration, which is going to be the subject of this video. So to do that, we're going to go dauber right. Now here on the DED, we can see we're in ACAL here at the top left, also duplicated here on the HUD. To the right of that, we have the sensor that we're going to be using to do the calibration. And just like the fix, we have different options that we can cycle through. Now the fix, we cycle through them using the dauber switch, but for ACAL, we'll use the ICP buttons, a 0 through 9, any of them. So right now we're in radar altimeter, fire control radar, the heads up display, targeting pod and back to the radar altimeter. Now one of the cool things about ACAL that FIX does not have is that in addition to calibrating our altitude we also have options to calibrate our position or our FIX or doing both at the same time. And to cycle between those three options we're going to use the dauber switch to the right. So right now we're just calibrating altitude. We can calibrate both at the same time calibrate just our position and then back to altitude and that's what we're going to do for today and then the top uh, right corner we have the steer point whose altitude we're going to be calibrating below that we can see that we're in manual mode but let's go ahead and dauber down and we've highlighted it if we now press m select or zero button the icp we go back to the automatic altitude calibration dauber right to go back to manual then we have our elevation, which is about seven feet, and that's the uh, elevation of steer point one as listed in the mission planning table in the mission computer. And then below that is the altitude delta, when we compare that to our radar altimeter. So to calibrate this, I'm going to unpause, I'm going to fly directly over the steer point, I'm going to repause again, and take a look at what the radar altimeter is telling me. So unpause. And I'll also include a diagram in the forum post that maybe better explains this as well. And pause. Okay, so right now we see a delta of around what six to eight feet, but to uh, better express this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a massive time acceleration to introduce some drift. Okay, so you can see it uh, went up quite a bit there. So to calibrate this, I'm simply going to press target management switch or TEMA switch on the stick forward. And that freezes the delta. And if I press enter on the ICP, I'm going to save that fix. Now, if I come back to ACAL, we can see my delta is only about one or two feet now. Next, let's take a look at using the radar to calibrate our altitude. So first, given that we're going to be using a radar, let's go to uh, the radar page, CRM, ground map mode. Let's go to uh, steer point two, that's where we're going to be calibrating. going to go down on the display management switch to make this our sensor interest for our soy. 
and I'm going to set this as my FTT or fixed target track and then freeze the display by going target management switch forward or TMS forward. Okay, now we go back up to the ICP, you go to button 9, ACAL, you go to manual calibration, you press one of the ICP buttons once to go to FCR, steer point 2, the table elevation is 23 feet and we have a delta of only one foot. So again, to get this point across, let's do a time acceleration. Okay, uh, seven feet now. So simply going to go forward again on the target management switch to freeze that delta. Hit enter to save. Now again, if we go back, we can see that delta went back to very close, uh, zero feet, just one foot now. Now using the HUD is about as simple as it gets. So we'll simply go to uh, ACAL on the ICP, manual calibration, We'll hit one of the buttons twice to go to heads up display. Now we're going to go up on the display management switch or DEMA switch and we're going to make the HUD our sensor of interest indicated by the asterisk up here. At this point using the cursor controller we can move the steer point cursor anywhere on the HUD to set the location that we want the altitude to be for steer point one. Let's say we want to move it over about there. Once we're happy with that we can see that we have an altitude delta of negative four feet. Let's go target and manage switch forward to set it. Hit enter to save. Go back to ACAL. And now we have a delta of only zero feet at steer point one. Okay, and the final sensor we're gonna use is the target pod. So let's zoom in and bring up the uh, TGP make it our sensor of interest by going aft or down on the display management switch. And let's make it our uh, FLIR camera. Now to make it a point track, we're gonna go forward on the target and management switch or TMA switch. Let's arm the laser. Back to the ICP, we'll go to ACAL, manual calibration. Hit ICP button three times to go to targeting pod. TGP. Elevation in the mission planning table is 5,745 and we have a delta of negative 5 feet. So let's clear that out to zero. So we're going to uh, squirt the laser by pulling the trigger. Gives us a range. Now we'll go forward on the target and management switch or TMA switch to calibrate. And we'll press enter to save. Back to ACAL. TGP and we have a delta of zero feet. So folks, hope you enjoyed this video on using ACAL, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.